Hey guys, it's uh, Andy here. So we were asked, you know, what's the uh, accommodation like uh, on the Kilimanjaro, the, the long way, and you know, and the food as well. Um, so I wanted to sort of go into a little bit of detail about, you know, what the accommodation is we use, uh, both uh, the hotel and also what it's like on the mountain. So yeah, with, um, with us on Kilimanjaro, the long way, uh, we stay in, in a place called Moshi, um, which is a city, basically at the, the base of Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, it's a lovely city. Uh, you've got, it's quite, um, I say lovely city, it's a very poor area, so you will see a lot of poverty, but on the outskirts here, you've got some really nice hotels sort of spread out about, and we use one called the Springlands Hotel. Um, now basically, it's a, it's a sort of three star, um, really, really nice, you're perfect for where you are, really. Uh, it's, with these kind of trips, they're not, how can I put it, sort of luxury, so, but it's certainly got its comfort levels to it. You know, there is a, like this place there to get a massage, it's got a pool, um, it's got a nice bar there. So you've got places you can chill out, but essentially it's just a stop, um, you know, and base really for us when we're going to climb the mountain. Uh, we will have time to explore the local area because something we do a little bit differently is the, the kind of, uh, when you arrive, your arrival day, but the day after we actually explore the local area, explore Moshi, it's quite nice you know, to, to see the local area. We, we feel it's important to do that rather than just legging it straight up the mountain. Um, you know, whenever trackers that have come with us have found that really valuable. So yeah, that's with regards to accommodation. Um, it is shared accommodation. So uh, most of the time it's on a twin sharing basis, sometimes triple rooms, um, you know, depending on capacity. Um, and then when it comes to on the mountain, so all the, uh, on all the trips we do to Kilimanjaro, uh, they're camping. Uh, so they're shared tents, uh, you know, uh, basically three-man tents, but it's two people in them. Um, you know, and you'll have, uh, you know, obviously your own space there, but you'll have uh, your own sort of mat. Um, usually we we kind of have two people. During mad times, I mean, um, especially things like COVID, we have, um, you yeah, know, we do, we are at the moment using single tents. So it's one person per tent, just to minimize, um, you know, the spread of, of kind of COVID. But, you know, as that comes to an end, depending on when you're watching this now, um, is that, you, you know, it might revert back to, to the sharing of tents. But essentially, you know, we're trying to minimize the, the impact with that. So that's when it comes to the accommodation, um, you know, on the mountain. Uh, when it comes to food, so, uh, you know, in Moshi, you, you can get some local dishes, you know, you get rice, curry, um, you know, some chicken, you know, meat and stuff in the hotel. When you're on the mountain, surprisingly good food. You'll have things like pasta, pizzas, um, again, you know, you get some rice, some chips. Um, sometimes, you know, you get you get some popcorn. It's just some random dishes seem to appear, some desserts. You know, for breakfast, you know, you might have things like an omelette, uh, some beans, maybe some sausages. You know, it's not bad, um, you know, when you're on the mountain to, for, for where you are. Uh, on some of our trips, uh, like especially when we think back to Nepal, um, you know, you, we, we tend to, to sort of stick to a vegetarian diet, but it's a little bit different in, in uh, Kilimanjaro. Um, you know, we do eat meat on the mountain. Obviously, uh, you know, if you've got any intolerances, um, <clears throat> any allergies, you know, do let us know so we can make sure that, uh, you know, our chefs are briefed and, and they can obviously address that and make sure that there's no contamination and, and things like that when you're on the mountain. Uh, but essentially, yeah, that's it. So when it comes to uh, your accommodation and your food um, and, and what it's like on Kili, yeah, I hope that answers your question.